So now that we are at the end of this lesson, time for our first lab. You can probably guess what you are going to do. Create a three-node Kubernetes cluster as instructed in this lesson. You want it to be a four-node cluster? That's fine as well. But we need the cluster. Good luck with that. All right, the solution to this lab is basically everything that you have seen in the previous lesson. Uh, I'm not going to demonstrate everything again. I just want to give you a short list so that you know what to do. Uh, basically, in the docs, you want to be looking for uh, cube ADM in it. That will bring you to the appropriate documentation. And once you have found the documentation, uh, there's a couple of steps. In order to run these steps, I will assume that you have already set up your nodes uh, correctly. So Docker Daemon must be running, Cube ADM utility must be available. I think it's unlikely that you need to do stuff like that on the exam, because it's not really about Kubernetes, it's more about setting up Linux. And the, the CKA exam is not a how to set up Linux exam. So the first thing that you are going to do, uh, you are going to run Cube ADM in it. And while you run Cube ADM in it, it's going to tell you a couple of things. Uh, first, obviously, it will install all of the software. Then it will tell you about the network. It will tell you about the dot cube config. And it will tell you about the cube ADM join command that you need to run. Uh, this cube ADM join that is shown by the output of cube ADM in it is important uh, because it contains the token that you need in order to join. Right, second step. As an ordinary user, you are going to create the config. Uh, so let me just write create config and read in the output of cube ADM in it. Next, and that's an important one, uh, you need to run kubectl in order to create the network. So there are all these different network plugins, and in order to set up a network plugin, it is not easy. But this is really where you are going to need the documentation. On the documentation, you will find the exact instructions to set up whichever network plugin you want to be using. Uh, run the command, just copy paste the command and you will be okay. Uh, in order to verify that uh, this is working, you should use kubectl get nodes. And once the network is uh, up and running, kubectl get nodes will show you the master node in a ready state. And then you can go to the other nodes, and on the, and on the, on the other nodes you can use cube ADM join. And the cube ADM join is followed by the token. Uh, basically, it's the entire command that you have seen in the output of cube ADM in it. Now, there's one more thing that you should realize, and that is the user accounts that you are going to use. So, cube ADM in it runs as root. Uh, all the, uh, the other commands, creation of the configuration, the kubectl command run as an ordinary user, cube ADM join runs as root as well. Because the init command and the join command is really where you are going to configure services, and that really requires root privileges. And once you are done with that, well, you type your kubectl get nodes. Uh, once you have joined all the nodes, it might take a minute, but after the minute, definitely all your nodes will be available and you will have an operational cluster.